Hey everyone, Demonic Review Spot here, and today I will be doing an unboxing video of Disney's Epic Mickey Collector's Edition for the Nintendo Wii. And of course, this game is rated E for everyone. And on the side of this box, you'll see Mickey Mouse with blue streams of paint coming from his paintbrush. And on the other side of the box, you'll see Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, which I don't know too much about the history of this guy, but as far as I do know, I think he's the uh, first original iconic character for Disney, but due to some legal issues, Mickey Mouse was created and the rest is history. And on top of the box, you'll see the words Disney Epic Mickey Collector's Edition again. And there's nothing on the bottom of the box, it's all plain. And as for the back, it says, Unleash the Power of the Brush, and there are the contents included, such as the game disc and bonus DVD disc, with the 5-inch Mickey Mouse figurine, the Wii console skin set, and a Wii remote skin. So let's open this box up and take a look at all the contents. Okay, I have already removed the shrink wrap. Now let's see what it looks like inside. Unfold the flaps here. And looks like an inflatable piece of plastic, which I'm guessing it's used for protecting the contents inside. And that's what it looks inside the collector's edition box there. If you're getting this or if you already have this. The 5 inch Mickey Mouse figurine, which comes with him holding his paintbrush there. Looks quite nice. And I will open that in a second with everything else. Um, here is the bonus DVD disc, which includes eight behind the scenes featurettes, concept art gallery, four remastered cartoon shorts, and bonus video extras. So that's pretty nice. Here's the front of it there. And comes with a pretty nice but thin packaging. But better with the DVD than the game, right? And there's the skins for your Nintendo Wii console and Wii Remote. Which uh, I thought they were going to be larger than this. At least in the pictures I've seen they look larger. I mean, there's a size comparison next to the box there. That's how small they are. So yeah, it comes with those skins and the game itself. Epic Mickey. It says, winner of 15 awards, including best Wii game, IGN E3 2010. And there's Oswald, the lucky rabbit, with uh, more streams of paint, and Mickey Mouse. There's the side of the box and the back of the Wii box. And here is another view of the contents that come included with Disney's Epic Mickey Collector's Edition. Here are the skins for the Wii console and the skin for the Wii remote. And again, I thought these were going to be a lot larger than they originally are. I mean, here they are right next to the Mickey Mouse figurine and you can see how small they actually are. I mean, compared to the size of the Wii, which is larger, I thought they would make these the same size, but I guess they didn't. Just a minor gripe, but that's alright. I don't think I will be using those anyways. And here's the DVD packaging, which I thought there was a spot to open this on the side, or somewhere on here, but there is only a slot on the top of it with the DVD inside. So that just slides out when you're ready to view it, and that just slides right back in when you're ready to put it away. Now inside the game box itself, it comes with the Epic Mickey CD, and on the other side is a pamphlet with uh, ads on it for other Wii games, and on the back of it is a coupon, save $10 when you buy any of these other Wii games, that are from Disney of course, but I don't think I will be buying any of those. And it also comes with the instruction manual. 
like every video game should come with. And it is a color manual. And it's only about nine pages. So that's pretty nice. Now on to the five inch Mickey Mouse figure. Um, he does look really nice with his traditional black and white coloring with the red shorts with the two white buttons and of course his trademark yellow shoes. And this guy does have some articulation on him. His head does rotate full 360. His arms do go forward and back and completely around. And he does have wrist articulation which surprised me because I didn't think he would have wrist articulation. Um, there are no waist articulation at all. There's none of the legs. But for his feet, they do swivel left and right and completely around. And for his tail here, it's made of very, very thin, soft plastic and it's non bendable. And it does look like it has some articulation, but I don't want to move it around too much because it looked like it could break off any time. Just seeing how thin that is, I don't want to ruin that. And for a Mickey Mouse um, paintbrush here, it, you can remove it from his hand. And I'll show off a bit of the detail on the paintbrush here. With the green and blue paint on it. So that's pretty cool. And you can fit that right back in Mickey's hand there and he's ready for battle. And just real quickly, here is a comparison shot next to Thor from the Marvel Universe line, just so you can get an idea of the scale of the Mickey Mouse figure. And that's pretty much it for my unboxing video of Disney's Epic Mickey Collector's Edition for the Nintendo Wii console. And I can't wait to play this because the last Mickey Mouse game I played was Mickey Mania, The Timeless Adventures of Mickey Mouse for Sega Genesis, if anybody can remember that. Um, and to me, that was a very enjoyable side-scroller game for the character Mickey Mouse. And this game, Epic Mickey, also has some side-scroller parts in it as well, and I hope it kind of brings back the nostalgic feeling of it. Also, I have played the Kingdom Hearts series, which rocks my socks, and I can't wait till they make a third one. So yeah, that's my unboxing video, and I hope you guys enjoyed viewing. Catch you guys later.